So um, uh, let's go to some of the feature of this baby, shall we? Um, so right there, um, uh, first let me just, you know, check the outputs and uh, place the things in multi-output mode, you know, it's nice. Um, for example, when uh, you are in multi-mode, I will use this one. So I can have, you know, uh, 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 direct outs. <clears throat> Sorry. So uh, look at this. Actually, with the direct outs, I can have, you know, different kind of effects. Right. Okay. Like. Uh, yeah. Um, that's nice, uh, you can uh, yeah, that, that is something for the future, uh, but we, let's not, let's not use this for the moment, um, we just going to, uh, mess around, so, uh, uh, let's talk about the, the, the sampler, actually, yeah. Um, so, let's, uh, please move this. Uh, let's, for example, just uh, try to sample something, all right? So, uh, there is a very nice sampler in this. Uh, you can load wave 5, that would be, uh, you know, uh, resample. Uh, using a, 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 a lot of things inside this. Uh, actually, the sound will be uh, a trick a lot uh, before going out to the last process, which is, uh, you know, Mulo conversion into uh, an actual EEPROM file. So, uh, let's load a WAV file. Um, for example, uh, what can I load here? Uh, yeah, this one. Bam. Bam, bam! It says uh, 27 kilohertz sampling. Success. Proceed to burn or preview. And you can actually preview the sound right there, uh, and you will hear it all, all, all with your sound. And it sounds nice usually. <laughs> All right, uh, successfully, uh, successfully uh, burned. So now, let's say I want to place this sample uh, on this uh, external, external one. one. So uh, right there, this is the default. So we are in the LM1 mode, and this this is the the LM1 sound. But I want to replace this uh, a second snare uh, with the, the the thing we just sampled. So let's go right here. Uh, to the EEPROM library, and you can see user converted. Uh, this has just been created, and you can see uh, the actual sample, uh, the EEPROM file. Bam, it's loaded. All right, and I can trigger this. Okay, so it should be under my keys now. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, that's funky, but you can actually activate, uh, you know, uh, the sound filter of this. So uh, let's try. Yeah, and there's more. Uh, you can actually, you know, uh, check the thing. Uh, and activate the loop mode, baby. And 
now is gonna be crazy. Uh, and you can see actually the loop is, uh, you know, uh, freely running. If you want it to be synchronized, uh, you got this new thing right there. So you, you, it try to sync. And now we, we start. And you, you, you can uh, set the length uh, re really short. So uh, it's almost like a wave table right now. Let's reset this thing. And let's go back to... Uh, if, you want, if you want it to be, uh, you know, uh, kind of looping uh, almost endlessly, let's... Uh, Yeah, one thing that's nice now is that you can actually tweak the DAX. So uh, this is actually the transfer uh, transfer function of the uh, the Eulo DAX. You know, uh, the sounds uh, are usually compressed in Eulo. Uh, this is a thing, you know, to uh, uh, take less less space. So the, the actual sound is compressed, you know, uh, to be 8-bit, but the, the actual uh, compression curve uh, gives you a 12-bit uh, resolution, actually. But uh, this is actually the curve, but you can actually tweak this thing in VPROM. And this is nice because it's kind of, it's kind of a unique effect. Uh, listen to the kick drum, for example. Now, uh, check the snare. It's almost like a transient thing, all right?
So it's nice because uh, if you just, you know, uh, mess up with this uh, uh, slightly, um, I, I found out that uh, the actual ship, uh, the actual deck, the real deck, uh, ha ha had some slight variation uh, between uh, the actual uh, electronic chip. So you can approximate uh, some kind of sound better uh, depending on, on what you have. You know, more or less uh, short. This is uh, weird world stuff. There is no, uh, ba uh, a nice bass, uh, a, a nice bass stuff. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, let's uh, you can actually choke the sample. Um, right there but that's not the point let's actually mess with some e crumbs so you have a nice bank so let's uh, change um yeah some, some kind of snare let's check this out um yeah the tom stuff maybe uh, yeah no Yeah. Okay, uh, let's, let's mess, mess with the snare, snare drum, shall we? Um, where it is? Uh, snare drum, snare drum, uh, the bass drum, the bass drum. Okay, you can actually change this, uh, change this uh, just right there. All right, that that is cool. So. Um, no. Um. Yeah, let, let, let's mess with this. Sample something else. Um, yeah, something else, you know, randomly, I don't know. Uh, well, this is called track. I don't know. This is some tracks of mine. I don't. I don't know what's in there. Uh, this sound. No. 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 Um, this. this, this, this Digi phone. phone.
going to uh, Timberland, uh, Timberland <laughs> territory with this, you know. Uh. <laughs> You can mess with stuff. You can mess with stuff. You can mess with stuff. You can mess with map, map, map. All right. Um, this thing is sounding really nice. Uh, I bet you on the sampling, you can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, now you can unload everything just uh, using reset all. Bam. And we're back. Uh, Let's check another feature uh, on the, you know, this kind of thing, uh, dynamic tuning. On one tom, for example, uh, I activate the toms. Okay. Now, depending on the, the actual velocity, uh, the, the, um, the tuning will be uh, dynamic and change. If I change the, the velocity to actually full uh, velocity, you can hear the... Now, that, that, that is really nice. For example, uh, if I just uh, load a kit, a kit is uh, actually uh, just a set of EEPROM. And, and a set, set of, of uh, same settings, settings already, already done, done for you. For you. Uh, this is a quick a way, way to load, to load the, kit. the kit. You, you, you can, can make, make this, this yourself. yourself. Uh, uh, let me load, for example, um, the DMX the right, right there. there. You can have a... And you can have the tracking right there, which is a feature on the GMX. Um, this is this is something that is uh, you know activated with this. Uh, when this is activated, uh, this is actually uh, tracking the sample rate, the actual tuning of a drum. So um, the the filter will close uh, based on the the tuning now. If, if, if this is not set, uh, you will keep the actual uh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> 